Today we're talking about exactly what you need to do to go from skinny to jacked without steroids or performance enhancing drugs. So if you're a relatively skinny guy watching this and you're looking to get jacked or just more muscular, this video is going to be perfect for you. Because not only am I going to give you all the actionable information you need in order to make this transformation, but I'm also going to give you hope that it's truly possible for you to do this without performance enhancing drugs. And real quick, for those who may be new to the channel, my name is Drew Favre. I'm CEO and head coach of Timeless Aesthetics. Timeless Aesthetics is a coaching program designed to help people thrive in their fitness journey, live fulfilling lives, and become better leaders. But we'll talk more about Timeless Aesthetics at the end of the video. For now, we're going to dive into what you need to do to go from skinny to jacked. So before we dive into the actionable information that you need to make this transformation, I first wanna give you the hope and the proof that it's actually possible. So this is Reese, and Reese is actually the head lifestyle coach of the Timeless Aesthetics coaching program. And as you can see, when he first started lifting weights, he was about as skinny as it gets, but he was determined to put on size and build a physique that he could truly be proud of. So he started training his ass off in the gym and implementing all of the principles that we're about to go over in this video. And as a result, he was able to go from a skinny guy to a jacked and strong motherfucker who's on his way to build a truly timeless physique. Now this path wasn't easy, and it took Reese about seven years of relentless consistency to make the transformation that he did, but through the principles that we're going to talk about in this video and a burning desire to work hard, anyone can make a transformation like this. So like most topics I talk about here on the channel, we're gonna break all of this information down into three different principles, and we're gonna do a semi deep dive into each principle, so that way you fully understand all of the actionable information that you need in order to transform from skinny to jacked. So first and foremost, when it comes to nutrition, it comes down to developing a healthy relationship with food and finding the best approach for you to stay consistent with your diet and overall intake. Because the truth is, you can have the perfect calories, the perfect macros, or the perfect meal plan set up, but if you aren't actually consistent with that plan, at least 90% of the time, you're not going to reach your goals and see the transformation that you're looking for. And secondly, when it comes to nutrition, if you're a skinny guy looking to get jacked, you have to be eating in a calorie surplus. And this just means that you're consuming more calories than you burn on a daily basis. And if you're asking, well, Drew, how do I know if I'm in a calorie surplus? The answer is actually really simple. You'll know you're in a calorie surplus when you actually start to put on weight. So a common theme that I see with skinny guys is that they have a relatively fast metabolism and typically a low appetite. And they may say things like, oh, I eat so much and I just can't put on weight. And they may actually believe that this is true, but once they start actually tracking their intake every single day, they actually come to find out that they aren't eating as many calories as they thought, and that's why they're struggling to gain weight. And for most of them, to actually eat in a surplus and put on the size that they're looking for, it's a relatively big challenge. And regardless of how challenging it may actually feel, you simply have to get it done. So this means you have to be very strategic with your food choices. If you're trying to hit your calorie and macro goal with regular bro meals like chicken and rice or eggs and oatmeal, odds are it's going to be incredibly challenging. What you actually need to do is incorporate calorically dense foods and foods that are very easily digestible. This means utilizing fat sources like olive oil, avocados, nuts, and carb sources like honey, bagels, cereal, bread, granola, and things of that nature. Now, once you've figured out the best way for you to consistently eat in a calorie surplus, you simply just have to do this for a long time. Now, this doesn't mean you wanna get sloppy fat and unhealthy by eating in a huge calorie surplus for an extended period of time, but it does mean you can't be afraid to be in a surplus for a long time and put on a little body fat in the process. For instance, during Reese's seven year transformation that I posted earlier, about 80% of that time was spent in a calorie surplus. So find a way to get consistent with your calorie surplus of about 300 to 500 calories and stay in that surplus for a couple years and watch the amount of size and strength that you put on. When it comes to training, I can really sum this up in five words, intensity, progressive overload, and compound exercises. It's really that simple. You need to be training intensely, doing compound exercises, and progressively overloading. So for those of you who don't know, compound exercises are exercises that require multiple muscle groups to perform 
where an isolation exercise only requires a single muscle group to perform. So a few examples of compound exercises would be like barbell squats, bench press, rows, deadlifts, and things of that nature. Where an isolation exercise would be something like a preacher curl. And there's nothing wrong with these isolation exercises, but compound exercises need to be the meat and potatoes of your training if you are looking to go from skinny to jack. So once you have your form down pat on these compound exercises, and you know that you're not going to hurt yourself performing them, you should start to implement the progressive overload principle. And in short, progressive overload simply means to give the muscle more stimulus as time goes to force more muscle growth. There are many ways you can go about progressive overload, but the simplest way is to just increase your weight. So for example, if last week you squatted 225 pounds for three sets of 10, this week you should go ahead and up the weight to 230 pounds and try to get three sets of 10. And as time goes on, you would just continue to repeat this process and increase the weights. But it's important to recognize that the increase in weight can never be at the sacrifice of form or you really aren't actually progressively overloading. And finally, when it comes to training intensity, this is something that I'm incredibly passionate about and something that I'll talk about till I'm blue in the face because you have to train intensely, especially as a skinny guy who's looking to pack on size and go from skinny to jacked. You can't be afraid to train to failure and you should consistently be doing all of your sets with no more than one or two reps left in the tank. Now with that said, we can't let our training intensity come at the price of our training technique, but when your form is good and you're consistently training with sound technique, you need to be training with no more than one to two reps left in the tank and you can't be afraid to go all the way to failure every now and again. You have to prioritize your recovery if you want to build muscle, put on size, and go from skinny to jacked. It doesn't matter if your diet and training are spot on. If you aren't actually recovering from the workouts, you're not going to put on size. So what you need to do to maximize recovery is first and foremost, of course, actually be on point with your nutrition. You have to be eating enough protein and you have to be hitting your calorie goal every single day. But aside from that, there are many different factors that a lot of people overlook, like actually getting enough quality sleep, you should be prioritizing sleep and consistently getting at least six to eight hours of quality rest every night. Improving your recovery also requires you to manage your stress levels, to stay hydrated, and to get a couple hours outside in the sun every single week. All of these factors paired together is what's going to enable you to recover properly and efficiently from your training and actually build the muscle and size that you're looking to. So that's the three principles that are going to help you go from skinny to jacked without steroids. Now this process won't be fast or easy. And if you're expecting it to be either of the two, you're inevitably going to fail. You've got to be willing to work hard, stay patient, and truly learn to enjoy the process. And if you're looking for expert guidance, accountability, and a community of badass, like-minded people, you can click the link down in the description to apply for the Timeless Aesthetics coaching program. Now look, if you aren't willing to work hard, stay patient, and trust the process, the Timeless Aesthetics coaching program probably isn't for you. But if you're willing to work hard, stay patient, trust the process, and remain coachable, Timeless Aesthetics will help you blow past what you feel is possible for you and your fitness journey. So if this sounds like it's a good fit for you, click the link down in the description, fill out the application, and you'll hear a response from me in less than 24 hours. So that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content just like this. And until the next one, guys, keep pushing, keep persevering, and keep it positive.